She's destroying this country. And if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. But what we have in the former president is someone who would prefer to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. And I'll tell you something. Border policy, a flashpoint in the first presidential debate last night between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Only 55 days away from Election Day, the country was able to hear where the two contenders for president stand. 13 News reporter Andres Rendon joining us now live. And Andres, you saw the debate last night. What were some of the major issues discussed? I mean, Dan Brooke, you heard it right there. Pretty, pretty heated discussions over several issues like inflation, the economy all the way down to January 6. But one issue that affects southern Arizona, immigration and border security. They've destroyed the fabric of our country. Millions of people let in. And all over the world, crime is down all over the world except here. Vice President Harris responding with the failed border bill that would have provided billions in border resource funding as well as thousands of asylum officers. Donald Trump got on the phone, called up some folks in Congress and said, kill the bill. And you know why? Because he'd prefer to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. It's a claim Pima County Sheriff Chris Nano stands by. If you had a, a, a bill in front of you that would resolve it all, and I came along and said, don't sign that bill because it might get me unelected. Shame on me. A solution from the former president is bringing in local law enforcement to assist in arresting illegal migrants, a practice similar to Arizona Proposition 314. But Nano says it's not his issue to deal with. I certainly don't need to be making arrests and housing people in my jail at my expense, at my taxpayers' expense. And I don't need to be jamming our courts with cases on deportation matters when right now our courts are backlogged enough. Republican candidate for sheriff Heather Lappin took a similar approach, saying the county doesn't have enough resources, but she will enforce the law. Do we have staffing to go be border police, to be deportation officers? Absolutely not. If there's a program or plan in place, then absolutely we will do what we need to do to be good partners with the federal government. All right, one thing Sheriff Nano's point to do, he said that if a federal measure were to be rolled out that required local law enforcement to carry out immigration tasks or even on the state level, if Prop 314 is passed, then extensive funding like that given to Border Patrol is needed to see this play out. Reporting live near Benson and Kino Parkway, Andres Rendon, 13 News.